Well, there's my latest acquisition. My $100 Jeep. It's an LJ20 uh, Suzuki. 1972. Uh, LJ, I guess, stands for Little Jeep. So, obviously, it's uh, Japanese made. And interestingly, they were not imported by Suzuki. They, a third party, went over and picked them up and brought them in and sold them, you know, unit by unit. So I guess there was about 4,000 of them brought into the U.S. And um, this one needs a little service work to run, supposedly. Brakes and uh, distributor work. 16 inch tires, 6 by 16s. <laughs> Military tread. It's got the optional garbage bag seat covers. Nice touch. This is really quite a light little vehicle but i guess they really can really crawl crawl through the through the pucker schnitz this is cute little uh heater <laughs> and i was a little concerned about all the garbage on the floor but unbelievably these floor pans are solid as a rock i did notice there was trouble in the floor pan on the other side. But really, I mean, considering this thing's been sitting outside, minimal right here. Everything else is okay. So this is going to be a deal where it just needs a, new clean, a good cleanup. These are the original mats. You can see they originally snapped in. Oh, well, there's a little rust right there. But, so most of the rust is just in the corners on the body. And then the box is in good shape. Unbelievably, you would think it would just be holes all the way through. Well, there is some holes now that I... Maybe not. get this all cleaned out and look at that steel this the body is made out of really heavy duty steel but really you know for bombing around in the woods and carrying a little loader wood back this thing be great and obviously he did that the former owner so along with it came Some spare parts, a lot of gaskets, got a bunch of head gaskets. Some of them have rusty, rusty spots on the crush ring. So there's a rod and some wrist pins. And then I got manuals with it. The fellow that I picked this up from was. Um, a Suzuki dealer and so I've got parts catalogs and service manual for the truck which is very good and of course it's been beat around a bit let's have a look at the motor I mean this would be an incredibly susceptible area to rust through. There's definitely rust here, but there's sorry about that. This is all just clean up and and the repaint. You know, it's a little a little floppy. There is some rust right there. But <laughs> this thing takes like a lawnmower riding lawnmower battery. And this is the Look at the motor still loose, and this has sat for quite a few years. It's a two-cylinder, 
360 cc so I'm sure the thing sounds like a, a motorcycle going down the road but it's four-wheel drive and this is very interesting this is the generator plus the starter so that's that's very very uh, very unique uh, unique setup and then here for the uh, for a two cycle engine a distributor is quite odd and you can see how grimy this is in here looks like the looks like the uh, rotor cap is okay it just needs to be cleaned and I may be able to salvage the points but the <laughs> there's no spring tension on the uh, counterweights for advance, so I'll have to probably go in. That's that. But if it's been used, you know, what do you expect? There's the reservoir for the two cycle oil, and it's water cooled, and that's one of the distinctions between the earlier models and the 72, which was the GL20, or LJ20, sorry, is they added water cooled before it was air cooled. It even has a little horn. Look at that. So this needs help with the brakes. And I'm sure the carb could use a clean. That's but so there's a first look at my little Jeep. Here's one of the build tags. LJ20 359cc. Engine type L50, body number, and engine number. The weight on it is a little spit. Five hundred and eighty-five kilograms. You do the math. Okay, so Maybe we will. <laughs> Why in the world would you want windshield wipers <laughs> in a vehicle that has no top on it? <laughs> well, I'm guessing that's just the way they built them. Does this have a fold down? No, I don't think so. Look there. A little defroster spot. <laughs> I can already wait. Ooh, looks like we're going to have to do a little lubing. I did have to lube the key, but with just a little PB blaster, the ignition switch feels nice and nice and uh, feels like it's gonna be okay. Go. Get it all cleaned out. And maybe start it up. Well, anyway, it's pretty cool. I jumped on a foreman already, and that's about the fastest way to get up to speed on these things. And parts are kind of scarce, so ought to be fun. Okay, I'm going to sign off. See you later.